Collingwood has done it again, snatching victory from the jaws of defeat, this time thanks to a goal after the siren from Jamie Elliott. While Essendon led as by as much as 21 points in the final quarter, the Pies prevailed by four to climb up to fourth. Ed and Woolley watched it unfold. With a minute on the clock, the game was Essendon's to lose. Oh, he's almost slipped over, he's lost possession. Dear, oh dear. But after Harry Jones' set shot hit the post, Collingwood somehow found the energy for one final surge, one final shot after the siren. Arms in the air! Oh, has gone through! Jamie Elliott has won the game of footy for this famous club. The man of the moment almost lost for words. Earlier, a fresh cut for this magpie, but what did the umps have in store? It didn't take long to get an answer. And he's taken high up by, lets it go. Oh, I'm not sure about that. Clarified by the AFL this week, high contact has basically become the Jack Ginnivan rule, his reputation preceding him. The Dacos name carries a reputation of its own, and for good reason, there's a family dynasty building. Away he goes. A couple of bounces. And like his brilliant father... <laughs> Peter Dacos in raptures after one of the goals of the season from Son Josh. The pie is simply awesome in the opening term. Cox. <laughs> Big climb. Mason Cox soaring as they took a 37 point quarter time lead. The Bombers with a mountain to climb. Then he goes to Guelphie. Their second term comeback was summed up by the courage of Guelphie and Mason Redman, who was subbed out with internal bruising. Essendon grabbing the lead midway through the third. Good slap, string. By now, the concerns were mounting for the Magpies as Braden Maynard hurt his shoulder. All the while, Sam Draper was ruling the skies. The big man made it count too. Outside of the boot. Oh, no chance. Oh, he's off. <laughs> he is taking the mickey. But while the Bombers led by as much as 21 points in the final quarter, Collingwood once again found a way. Ayrton Woolley. Nine news. Okay, and taking a closer look at the ladder now, Geelong is a game clear on top with Collingwood into the four. Carlton remain in seventh. That's despite today's win with St Kilda fighting to keep in touch. North Melbourne is right down there on the bottom still. And Carlton's Charlie Curnow has extended his lead in the Coleman medal battle. He's now five clear of Jeremy Cameron.